Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about this dual port charger here from Sky RC. This is the D200 Neo. Now I've been using this the last couple of weeks because I think you do need to put this through its paces over a couple of weeks in order to make an informed review. I think lots of people get this kind of stuff and use it twice and stick the video out on YouTube. But these things, chargers, radios, goggles, soldering irons even, are what I would consider investments in the hobby worthwhile spending your money and getting a decent one. Now, I have a two-port charger that sat behind me. It's sat there on the bench. That is my current favourite two-port charger that I love and I would recommend. That is the Genzace iMars Dual. They're available in white and black, and this one gets used on a daily basis. But it's been replaced over the past couple of weeks by this thing, and I've been charging all of my flight batteries with it. Now, in terms of the brands that I personally trust to charge my LiPo batteries safely, there are only two names on the list. One is SkyRC, and the other one is Genzace. And I have a big, old four-port charger that I've had for years and years of SkyRCs, this Q200, which is my go-to. And that Q200 is what I use whenever I'm charging more than a couple of batteries at a time. Now, for me, out of a dual port charger, what I'm really looking for are safe and accurate charging, the ability to handle all the different types of batteries that I'm going to use. Ideally, AC and DC support is nice, then I can take it with me to the field if there's a DC power port available. And I also like a USB port, at least one, ideally more than one, so that I can charge all the other stuff that I take to the field. Things like my DJI FPV controller, things like my DJI uh, goggle battery, my Fat Shark goggle battery, my GoPro, all different kinds of stuff these days need charging. So to be able to plug that into a nice high capacity USB port is kind of interesting too. So this Sky RC D200 Neo has an AC charging power of 200 watts max and a DC charging power of a whopping 800 watts maximum. Discharge power on the main port is 10 watts and on the balance port is 37 watts maximum. External discharge is 350 watts maximum, but that's using a separate discharge, basically a big heat sink with a fan behind it. Provides USB-C power delivery at up to 20 watts that supports QC 3.0 and will give you 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts and at 18 watts or PD it'll take you up to 20 watts. It'll charge LiPo, LiHV, LaFe, Lithium Ion, 1 to 6 cells. It'll do Nickel Metal Hydride and it'll do NiCad 2, 4 to 15 cells and it'll even charge lead acid batteries too, 3S, 6S and 12S. The charge current will go from 0.1 to 20 amps and if you're doing parallel charging, which this is capable of doing, it'll go up to a whopping 35 amps. Discharge current, as I said, it will go from 0.1 to 2 amps, so it's not great at discharging. However, if you want to, then you can use the external discharger, the BD350, that I'll show you in a moment. Balance current is 1.5 volts amps max, and the operation here is standard stuff for LiPo, LAFE, Lithium Ion, and LIHV. It's balance, charge, discharge, storage, and parallel for nickel metal hydride and NICAD, charge, cycle, repeat, and discharge, and for lead, normal, AGM charge, cold charge, and discharge. Now, playing with this thing, there are lots of things to like with it. The screen is very bright and easy to read. I would like the option to change how the screen looks because the green and blue for channels A and B are very close together. And for some people with sight issues, that might cause a problem. But in operation, I found it very reliable. The balance stuff works incredibly well and seems to be very accurate. And it's also nice and quiet. It has a big heat sink on the bottom. And unless you're running some of the really big high currents, it is completely silent. You can change the volume on this thing, and I absolutely would recommend you do that. It's set to the lowest volume as it came out the box. That's fine for navigating the menu like this. However, when it does the charge complete tones, I would want those a little bit louder. The screen, as I said, is very easy to use and very easy to read from any angle. I do like the fact that it's elevated slightly. It's kind of at a 30 degree angle, which might not sound like a lot, but that is something that I really enjoyed with this over my other Genzo's charger. Even when it's sat on the bench and I'm level with it, I don't have to get out my seat to peer over the top. I can just look to the side and I can still see the screen and read it. 
there is an external discharge port on the side that plugs into something called a BD300. Now I have uh, one of the earlier versions of this, I think it's called the BD200 that I've got here. This is something that's incredibly useful when you get back from a flight and some of your batteries aren't back at storage charge. You can just use this to burn off that excess power to get them down to storage charge so you can pop them away safely. It's a great way to manage your batteries and with this one you can plug that in externally and then you can also check things like the power discharge curves and those pieces too. The other thing about this as well is that you can monitor it with an app on your PC, Mac or by using Bluetooth on something like your phone or tablet too and that is really handy. In practice, do I use those kind of features? Once the novelty is worn off, no, not really and Bluetooth isn't going to give you enough range for you to monitor the charge while you're at the other end of the property or the garage. However, it is nice while you are sat doing something else with the battery charge at the side of you just to have that display on your device telling you exactly what's going on. There are DC power options in here too, so you can set it up to charge things like um, a tire warmer for example, or use it as a DC bench power supply, setting both the voltage and also the maximum current too. That's incredibly handy if you are playing with stuff on the bench and you want to power it safely to do things like simulate different battery types or just to fire things up to test it, maybe you're flashing an air unit or an avatar unit, you can absolutely do it safely with this. There are a couple of things to note though. Um, it doesn't have the standard USB style connector on the side. It has a USB-C port and in order for you to plug normal charging cables into it, you are going to need an additional thing called a PCH150 USB hub for regular USB cables disappointed personally about that. I would have liked the option to just be able to plug whatever charge cable I've got in the bag with my GoPro or my DJI FPV controller, whatever it is I have at the time. The other thing as well is there's no full manual in the box. I don't think you really need it. The navigation and the way you move around is really nice. And also in the display when things are charging, sadly there isn't a percentage indicator which I actually really like on the Gen Zace and it would be nice also to maybe have estimated time remaining. Those things are really happy. It's one of those things that if you're in the middle of charging the battery and realize you need to pop out for something, do I hang on for three or four minutes to let the charge finish or is it better for me to unplug everything uh, before I leave the house to do that errand? Also, the balance tap and power connect connections are the right way around. I really like them like this. Um, some of the batteries that I have here have really short balance taps, and it does mean that you can get them connected together like this. So just be aware of that. The balance tap itself kind of goes in um, upside down compared to a lot of the other charges that I've got here with the ground pin being on the right hand side. And the only other niggle I've got about this is that there are no easy ways to get a view of the internal resistance of the battery pack while you're charging it. Maybe that'll change in a future firmware update, but I like to just monitor that just to check that the battery is still healthy and it's still working fine. So in summary, what do I think of this? Well, I think it's a very solid, capable, well-performing charger. Will it replace my Gen Zace behind me? No, not really, and that's only for a couple of small niggly things. One is I like to be able to read the internal battery resistance of the cells as I'm charging the pack, just to keep an eye on that. And secondly, that USB port at the side. Personally, I don't want to buy yet another piece of hardware to plug in in order to plug all the stuff in. However, if you do do that with this, it gives you access to lots of different ports so you can charge lots of things at once, and that's quite a nice feature. And to get the most from this, I think you do need to buy those extra things that go along with it. This feels to me like less of a standalone charger and more like the heart of a little charging system that you can buy and upgrade over time. So with the BD350 plugged into the side to allow you to discharge uh, very high currents with things like the parallel balance connectors out the front and with the PCH150 USB hub thing plugged in the side, I think this would be a pretty fantastic piece of kit, particularly if you are into RC cars with features like the tire warmer settings and stuff like that as well. 
So hopefully that's interesting for those of you. I got this one from Banggood. I'll pop a link down below. But if you've been interested in looking at this, uh, this from SkyRC is a very capable little charger. And if you just want a charger that's going to stand alone, then it's going to work fine. However, if you want it as part of an overall little mini charging system with those extra pieces, then that's the way that I'd probably recommend you end up using it. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.